Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips Reacts. We're doing another episode just for you because we really enjoyed doing it in the office and we had some really rave reviews about some of the videos that we were watching. So why don't we get straight into it? Let's press play. Okay, so this is a big face mill. How big is this, Tom? That's 80 mil. Jesus, that's a bit big. So as you can see, oh, it's curling those chips very nicely. What depth of cut is that? I'm not, not sure. What, what does everybody think that depth of cut is? It's probably only going about two mil, three mil. But it's very quick. Do you know what machine it's on? No. It's very nice. I just Cutting. thought it was nice because it, it shows exactly what happens when what the face, a face mill. And look, as, as you can see on the left, you can see the trail that the face mill is leaving behind. Um, and I had a tip. If you want to have a smooth finish, take some of the inserts out. There you go. Okay, ready for the next one. Okay, so we've got a white tool that's plastic. Ceramic. Okay, ceramic tool. And I think what we're showing here is we're able to measure the tool. So obviously in this device here, what we can do is we can stick the tool holder with the tool in and we can measure exactly how much that tool is sticking out. The, the tool holder, why would you use ceramic? So ceramics are, it's, you say ceramic, but it's not made out of the same stuff you're like a ceramic your bowl. grandma's um tea cups are made yeah, out yeah. of um it's made out of a different ceramic but it's used for aluminiums and coppers so but is is it because it takes heat well yes okay so we're using this and what this device does like i was saying is measures the height so we can just stick that straight in the machine it's really accurate um and it just means you're not touching the tool onto the job and taking it off the date and point the z minus the date and point great next one Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, it's got. Why would you have a CNC upstairs? That's silly. Can we play that again? So, what you, you've got a forklift on a forklift. So, you've got a forklift holding a machine, and then the forklift holding a forklift. Oh, that's gonna. That's got bad time written all over it, isn't it? And the bloke's just walking away with his, with his head down. How much was that gonna cost? That's going to cost a bit, isn't it? Do we know what machine tool it is? No, <laughs> no I let's... didn't. I tried to zoom in, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Let's not. Oh, it'd be good to have a go. You'd need a very steady hand, wouldn't you? Oh. Yeah, bad day at the office. <laughs> Next. Oh, engine casting. Do we know what engine casting this is? Uh, they wouldn't tell us. We okay. weren't allowed to know. Okay, so some customers are very disclosed on customers, aren't they? especially with engine casting like this because they're brand new prototypes, they've never been seen before, we don't want other competitors getting hold of them and I think what's happening, Tom, correct me if I'm wrong, we've got a CMM there with probably, I don't know how many axes that's got on it and what's it's, what it's doing is it's got a radius tool checking the diameter of the hole in there. Yes, but this is Renishaw's brand new five axis CMM head. Uh, what's the difference between a CMM and a CMM head? Uh, it, no, it's just the head that attaches to the CMM. Oh, CMM-er. sorry, but silly. instead of having not your normal three-axis one where everything's done on one plane, Point, yeah. that can actually move like a five-axis. So you can see when it's going move. around the head, it's it's moving in three-axis yeah. there, isn't it, as well? That's very nice. So you've also got to have a clean surface, really, to do this on. That was really cool. So that's it for this week's Swarf and Chips Reacts. If you have any videos, please send them in to the links below, and I'll see you next time.